Good afternoon, everybody. It is an absolutely beautiful Thursday afternoon. I just got back from the gym. I actually got out of work quite early today, so I had time to go do a little shopping. Some thrift shopping, to be exact. Hence why we are doing a thrifty Thursday today. I'm super excited. I went to two stores. I got a nice handful of goodies. I'm really super excited to share with you and maybe also do a little bit of crafting at the end. We'll see. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with the big stack of magazines. Yes, guys, I, I got some more magazines. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to justify this picture. I'm, I'm just like, you know, <clears throat> I wanted some more magazines. So I got a bunch of the small Reader's Digest magazines. I got a, a prevention magazine as well. It's like I've got something kind of planned for um, these small Reader's Digest magazines. So I got a bunch of the Reader's Digest ones. I like these nice small ones because I like the size of the images. So a bunch of those. I also got a good housekeeping. The reason I just grabbed this one because I love the color on the front. It was just kind of really eye-pleasing. Eye so good housekeeping. I've got a country one here. It's got lots of gorgeous pictures in it. A travel and leisure one. I got two Birds in Blooms magazines. And then I got an outdoor photographer one. This one, guys, has such beautiful pictures in it oh my gosh i was like really excited to see this trying to pick out a few like new ones and just kind of look through kind of flip through them to see did some of them have some good images you know trying to branch out there trying some new ones. not going to stick with the same ones all the time oops sorry guys sorry there's not a lot of space i also picked up a book for reading this is called homefront hero by ally ally leader lighter I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But it is one of the love inspired brand books. The love inspired. I love these books so much, you guys. These are like inspirational, like very, I know, like I want to say short story reading. I just, I love these kind of books. And this is a his, inspirational historical romance one. So I'm like, oh yeah. First of all, I love history and then I love romance and I love when they put them together. So I love these kind of books. I'm amounting quite the collection of these, but there are so many of them out there. So yeah, I got another one of those to read. I also found this, which I was super geeked about. This is a bobbin lace kit. I've been seeing a lot of bobbin lace all over TikTok and I really wanted to try it. But a lot of like the bobbin lace kits out there are really super expensive. So I found this there and it is missing uh, quite a few of the pieces, but it's got one of one of the things that are kind of on the pricey side and that's like the actual board that you got to do it on, like the foam board. It doesn't have any instructions or the little wooden knobs, but those you can totally find anywhere else inexpensive. But if you got like the whole kit, it's more expensive, but I at least found this. I'm like, I'm excited, you know, something to start new, new to try. Just like I'm just like I need, I need another craft to try you guys. <laughs> oh, and then I found this super big roll of like wrapping paper. I think it's wrapping paper. It's like really, really thick. There's a lot of paper here, but this looks like a really really cool pattern. I'm going to carefully open it. I want to see for only a dollar, you guys, this, there's a lot of wrapping paper here, but it'll also be wrapping paper is also good to use in crafts as well. So it looks like it's a lot of like, it looks very vintage and like about like travel and lighthouses and like ships and the sea. And oh, this is really cool wrapping paper, you guys. This is going to be really cool to, like, to use as background paper or, you know, even for wrapping. I could totally use this as wrapping because there's so much here. Like, there's a lot of wrapping paper here, you guys. Okay, I found a couple pieces of jewelry that I'm going to add to my jewelry dismantling box. I, I collect pieces of jewelry that I take apart and I'm going to turn into other things. So I got this really long, like, black chain one. I'm always looking for like chain and stuff and different styles and patterns. And the, this black is really nice. I got a lot of nice black chain here to work with. And then I got this super big chunky black one with these little like black discs. You can take these apart and kind of use them individually on other things. 
And so that is a really cute one. And then I got another chain necklace. This is more like a, looks a very like rustic color. Oh, it's all very kind of antique-y, antique -y brown. Lots of different like style, tile, can't speak. <laughs> different types of chains with a little bit of bling in there, different sizes. So this is always really cool to look for those different, different kind of patterned chains so a couple more pieces of jewelry for the dismantling okay i saved my very favorite piece for last and this is the one i'm kind of hoping we can maybe just sit and do a little crafting with because this video is short and i wanted to make it a little bit longer i have a box here a very really nice cute box it's, it's seen some wear and tear it's a, on the vintagey side it's got nice little hinges that says life on the front it's like a orange and red and you open it up inside it is a box full of recipe cards yep all of these cards in here they all have recipes on them all in like alphabetical order it's just it is packed in here like I have a hard time pulling some of these out because it is so tightly packed in here cheese blintzes cafe Diablo, I, I have no idea. Codfish cakes, Creole crab gumbo, just, just a box full of full of recipes. I I don't know where this came from. I like I don't know what the uh, meaning behind some of these recipes are, because like flaming brandy and orange cups, flaming beef callops. I have never heard of like any of this. But I have actually been looking for something along this lo these lines, like a box, with a lot of cards in it like this, like maybe one of those um, like phone number card boxes or something, or like a recipe box like this that already has a bunch of cards in it, because I wanted to use it to like be it, make it a box full of like for journaling cards. So I I plan on journaling or like you know scrapbooking or you know gluing some images onto uh, all these cards and keeping them in this adorable little box. So I was so excited to find something like this. So I kind of want to do some crafting in it now, but I got to figure out, I might have to take about half of these out because if I like junk journal on some of these, they're not going to fit in here because it is, these are so tight. I mean, I even have a hard time trying to pull some of these out. It is so tight in here. So I might have to start by pulling out these, uh, these separating inserts for all the alphabet. I'm not going to worry about, I'm not keeping them for the recipes. I really don't care about any of these recipes. I'm going to be crafting on the fronts of them. And a lot of these are blank on the back, which I'm going to leave the back blank for like actual, like, journaling if I want to write a little note or a message or something you know I think broiled duck quarters interesting see a lot of these are a lot of these are blank on the back some of them still have like parts of the um recipe on it but I can always cover that up too but most of them most of them are blank but I've got to I gotta make a little more space in here because this is really like it's very tight there's not a lot of wiggle room in here and if I'm going to be journaling I need to have space for it to grow so I might still end up having to take half of these cards out I am going to keep these though because these are fun to make as like journaling cards and other crafty things so I'm going to keep these as well <clears throat> but I'm taking all of these out to see if I get a little bit more wiggle room Otherwise, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use all of them in here. I think I'm just going to start by keeping them all in. And then as I journal on all of them, we'll just see how much, how much space I am left with if I have to remove some. All right. Okay. That does, that does give me a little bit more wiggle room. But I think from what I'm going to be doing, it's definitely, it's definitely not enough. Ooh, peach ice cream. Interesting. What, oh my gosh, look at this. Lobster fry 
Diavolo. I have no idea. Oh my god. Lima beans with dill. Oh my gosh. Some of these recipes, I'm just like, why? I, I have no idea how old this, this box is. I can tell these cards are a little, got a little patina to them. So it definitely is up there in age. But I do also want to, um, like decorate the box as well it, it does need a little tlc but i'm just not sure should i paint it or should i cover it with like paper or something i'm thinking paint is probably the way to go i don't think paper is going to stay on there very well i also want to paint the inside make it look a little nicer and then i want to kind of i want to like you know glue stuff on it i want to like glue rhinestones on it and maybe glue on some like Little, little pictures like from magazines and whatnot and just to kind of you know show that this is like a crafty little crafty box okay i am been rambling on completely oops so let's go ahead and pull out our first card apple conserve <laughs> let's go ahead and start crafting hmm do i want to make this a like a junk journal type kind or do I want to make this like glue book kind should I get some magazine images I'm kind of feeling magazine images for this one <clears throat> I am feeling magazine images so let me just grab some that are close at hand oh gosh I just got a basket full of them here right now Ooh, and I see these right on the top here look at these I might fussy cut these out and put them on there that would look really really pretty let's see what do I have in here? I need some kind of background. What do I have for background? Oh my gosh. This basket is a mess. I've got to go through this. Mm. I'm just I'm just trying to find a background of some sort. So color background anywhere? Like, come on, geez, what have I got in here? Ooh, hold up. Okay. This is uh Looks like it's just a tile, tile pattern, but I love, I love the color of that. That is gorgeous. Okay. I want to do that. Yes, let's see. Would it fit on the whole card? Ooh, it might. It might actually, if I keep it right up to the edge, I can get that whole, I just want to make sure that, okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Yeah. So let me go ahead and get this glued on. Say goodbye to Apple Conserve. Okay. Oop. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. All right. Get it on there nice and quick. All right. All the way to the edge. Press it down real good. Press it down. Okay. Where did my other scissors go? Oh, they're on the couch. I'm, I was doing some magazine harvesting. All right. I'm just going to trim her down. Let's see. Oh, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And I still have a bunch of this I could use. Like, that would be good. Or a piece there. I'm just going to toss that back in the box here. Ooh, oh, that's, that's pretty. Okay, let's let's harvest these little. Oh, oh, shoot. Which side should I use? I got this side. I'm really liking that butter dish, that green one, and that pink pitcher. I like this side better because I like these colors. Okay, this is a heart box. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this fussy cut out. This is so tiny, such tiny details. Oh my gosh. It has been so nice and cool out today, you guys. I had all the windows open. It's absolutely beautiful. There 
Here's one. I want to get this pink picture. This thing is so cute. Sorry if I'm quiet, you guys. I gotta concentrate. I gotta concentrate on these tiny little details. Am I in camera still? I got, I'm got. i zoomed in so much that sometimes I, I move out of camera and I don't realize it because I'm focusing so much on this detail. Okay, I need to cut that out. I need to cut that out. Where's my cutting board? Where's, there it is. <sighs> so nice having everything within reach. Cut out the detail on the inside. Oh, I gotta try and cut a curve. I don't like cutting curves because curves don't cooperate. Am I even in? Can you guys even see? I guess I don't really need to see this. This is nothing exciting here. We're just. Okay, did I get it? Maybe? Hmm. Not enough for it to pop out on its own. Oh, like barely, I barely got it. I think I need a new blade. I think that's what's happening here. My blade is dull. It's like really dull. There we go, that's better. Okay. Oops. Oh. All right, now to cut out this little, these cute little salt and pepper shakers. Oh, these are so adorable. Ooh, we get a nice long weekend next week. I'm so super excited. I'm hoping to get to the beach at least once next weekend. We shall see. My sister's birthday is on the 4th of July. She is our firecracker baby. Yep, she was born on the 4th of July. But we're going to celebrate her birthday on the Sunday after because that's when she wants to go out and do something. And that's totally fine because trying to go out and do something like on the 4th is really hard to do. Okay. I have this last little one here. It's like a little heart box, but I don't really want that. Or I got this this glass pitcher here, but it doesn't it doesn't go, <clears throat> you know. And you can't really tell what that little heart box is anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. We're gonna skip it. That's okay. It's totally fine. You don't have to take everything if it doesn't look good or doesn't go. Okay. I like these little images. I'm just trying to figure out how to use them on here. Do I have any words? Ooh, I've got these sparkly like sticker bubbles. <gasps> Should I use a bunch of these? Mm, I don't know. I'm just digging through my basket here. I'm just digging through my basket of stuff. What do I have here I could use? I should get up my, my uh, thing of words. I should get up my thing of words. Oh, my. oh here's a here's another one, but the, the back ones which I would have liked are they're cut off. Oh, that's a bummer. These ones are good, but I don't want these ones. I wanted those ones. But I can't get those ones. They've been cut off. I need some words. That's what I'm looking for mainly. Oh, I don't see anything I like. So let me let me let me find my word box. It almost likes it needs something else, doesn't it? Hmm. It's okay. We got time. We're, we're not in any rush. You know, you can't you can't rush creativity. You can't rush art. Let's get the words.
These are the words and phrases. Make some room here. What have we got? I need something that's gotta be small though. It's gotta be small to fit on this. Hello, friend. Mom's the word. I also want something that kind of matches. So like, that'd be pretty. I love that color, but it's too big. Too big, it's not gonna work. So keep looking. Hmm. I like this cute little one here. It says, come to your senses. I actually don't mind that. That looks really cute. Right down the corner there. They kind of put the uh, salt and pepper shaker there. Does it need something more? Do you think it needs more? Hmm. It's, I think it's really... It's really cute, I like it, but I feel like it needs something more. I don't know why I'm looking through more of the words and phrases though, because I like that one. But again, it does need a little something more. Hmm. Let me think, let me think, what do I have? What do I have, what do I have? Looking around at all of my stuff. Ooh, hang on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Ugh. Hi. Let me just get out a second here. I have some of this really cool, like, decorative paper stuff here in like the color pink and I think it would look really pretty as a little snippet on the background. Like, like a small little snippet of this or something. Or I've got something like that. Ooh, these are, oops. These are really pretty. I like, like something like that because then you can still see the background through it. Something like that. That actually kind of blends in a little bit too much. These are paper. I'm leaning more towards either this one or this one. I kind of like this one. So what I want to do is figure out how to get a little piece of it on there. Should I actually make it a big piece? Like kind of or should I just make it a small little little strip across the top? Mm. Choices, choices, I know. I almost feel like it warrants being a bigger piece though. All right, hang on. I don't want it to be, let's just go ahead and carefully cut a little strip off. This is what I want. There we go. Something like this at the top. But I do need to trim it down. So like some of these little stringies on the side need to be trimmed down a bit. Just making a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess. There's little stringies everywhere. I think that's going to look good. Okay. This has to be glued down first. So... Let's move all the pieces aside. Oh, what kind of glue should I use? Should I use the Fabric Tac glue? I think so. I'm gonna use the Fabric Tac glue. Ooh, I need to clean off the nozzle. There we go. Okay, it's gonna be about there. Does that look good? Does that look okay? Okay. I have to try and put little 
blobs of glue onto this thing. Am I zoomed in too much? Let me zoom you back just a teensy bit. Okay, putting blobs of glue on this. Don't glue it to your fingers. Trying to make sure to get enough glue along these edges so that it'll stick. Make sure that there is glue along the side edges here. There's just gonna be lots of glue webs all over this thing. But I gotta make sure that it's going to stick. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Carefully flip it over. Carefully. And then place it down. Okay. I'm gonna get glue all over my fingers. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay. Now, let us start by adding our cute little images. I'm kind of wondering, though, if I'm going to need to. I don't think the glue stick is going to hold that image over top of that. So I'm going to have to, um, I might actually have to use the Fabri-Tec glue again to glue these down. That's okay. you right there. I know for sure that these guys will stick pretty good. I used the fabric tech glue. Okay, this I want right here, but I need these two guys to kind of be about here. Okay, I'll start with this one. Oh, that one totally moved on me. I gotta get the pepper. You know, I actually used to hate pepper as a kid. Growing up, I hated pepper. I didn't want pepper on anything. It was disgusting. Couldn't stand the taste of it. Oh, that moved. But now, I actually don't mind pepper. I will put pepper on a bunch of things. Yeah. I was like, go figure that out. The longest time, I absolutely refused to have anything to do with pepper. And now I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. Okay. Oh my gosh. This stuff is so sticky. Ugh. Okay. I think this I'm just going to go ahead and use the glue stick because it's it's not on anything. Okay. All right, there we go. Ooh, oh my gosh, this turned out so cute. Oh, I love it so much, you guys. Look at we just got our first little 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 card done for my new box. <laughs> okay. It's not it's not official until we actually put it back in the box. Okay. So open up the box. Probably should wait till this glue dries a bit. I'll take it back out, but you know we gotta christen it. So in the box it goes. <laughs> now imagine the whole rest of these being done up like that. All, all different and, and cool looking. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. This, this is going to be awesome. And yes, I want to I wanna decorate this box. I'm just not sure how yet or what I'm going to do. But there we go. I've got a new, a new little crafty... What should I call it? Like, does, should it have a name? Crafty journal, journal cards? Journaling cards? Journal box? I, I don't know. What would you what would you call this, guys? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me on this Thrifty Thursday and allowing me to show you all of my fun goodies that I got and, you know, doing a little bit of crafting as well with something new. 
I really like this. So when you're thrifting, look for stuff like this and you can always, always use it for um, journal inspiration. If you want just a small, like little tiny something to work on, here you go. A small, a small little card. So easy to do. So easy. But yeah, thanks again for joining me, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you will subscribe. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, you guys. We're, we're so close to 2,000 subscribers. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below of what your favorite item was. And yeah, I will see you in the next time. Keep on gluing, everybody.